I was disgusted with myself already. I was disgusted at the fact that I had no control over my life anymore. It was not. It was all me getting my next fix. Okay, well, I want to thank everybody for joining us again for uh, an, another great interview here at the Gospel Rescue Mission. And I have the fantastic opportunity of visiting with my friends, Linda and Manny. Hi, oh, buddy. <laughs> we, are, uh, we are just celebrating uh, with Linda what is going to be her, is this, this today your last day? No, well, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow? We'll be moving over the weekend. Oh, all right, all right. If you get lonely, you can come stay with us some more. <laughs> it's okay. For those of you who've been kind of maybe following along with our uh, videos and whatnot, you may remember that Shauna and Linda and I all sat down and, uh, and visited with you not too long after you arrived, I guess, right. you know, and... and um, Tell everybody, you know, a little bit about like, when did you check into the mission? It was in March. March of yep. this year? Yep. And so March of 2021. 2021. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, um, you, you were pregnant mm -hmm. with this young man. And um, you had just, you'd been spending some time up on the hill camping, you know, on the other side of the freeway, right? Right. Goodness, when I met you, I mean, you were in a wheelchair mm -hmm. with an ankle that was broken. Yeah, I had surgery while I was here. So uh, what drove you to come here? I mean, tell me about, like, first of all, tell me, how'd you end up in the woods? Um, we, were, we had been evicted um, a few days before Christmas, the year, so 2020. Okay. And so we had nowhere to go, and we didn't want to be in, in, in town. Yeah. We really wanted to be far from people. Okay. Where, you know, it was, you know, there's just a lot going on downtown. Yeah. There's a lot of drugs. There's a lot of drinking. There's a lot of fighting. There's just a lot of craziness going on with the homeless right now. Yeah. And we just wanted to be, just do us. Yeah. And be it's safer, I, you know. I wasn't even pregnant at the time, but yeah. still, it was just the best for us was to be by ourselves up on how, the mountain. How long were you out there? Um, we we went up there soon because I knew of that. I, that's when I first came to Grants Pass. That's where I went because I prefer to be away from people. <laughs> so um, I already knew of that spot. It was. A great spot. It was safe. Nobody ever comes up there but hikers, and they're nice. So, okay. so I already knew about it. And when we got evicted, I was like, I know where we're going. We're going up to the BLM land where nobody will bother us. So that's right. where we went, and um, we were up there until so December of 2020 until March of 2021, and that's when I came here. Okay, and. Um so you, you know, that's a long time to live in a tent. So that's, that's a long time, right. you know, and, and uh, you know, having to haul food and water up the mountainside, all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. goodness. It's tough. And um, along the way, you become pregnant. Right. Along the way, climbing after being pregnant, going up and down that hill, you... Roll your ankle in a nasty way. Right. Yep. I tore the the ligament in the ankle, my um, right ankle, and I needed surgery. And that's how I got here. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's a poor, pregnant homeless girl to do, uh, with a broken leg? Go to the mission. <laughs> Go to the mission. Go to the mission. You know, I, I remember talking to you shortly after you came, and and. Um, pretty emotional time for you you know and pretty mm -hmm. scary huh yeah 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 and and um tell tell me stuff that you know uh, i always ask you know what was something really hard about staying at the mission hmm. i guess so many different personalities and yeah. i'm an i'm an introvert 
and I'm a, a loner, and I don't, I've never really done people well. And, but it was, it was that the different personalities getting used to, not everybody's gonna get, be on the same page. Yeah. Um, some people have attitudes and some don't, you know, it's just conflicting personalities, I guess I would say. It's, you know, it's funny because um, we, I, I, think that's a, I think that's a common thing among homeless people, frankly. Uh, I think it's one of the things that drives people to homelessness is, is kind of that social, awkward socially a little bit and everything like that. But I got to tell you, sis, <laughs> I would never have guessed that you felt at all, you know, socially awkward or anything like that. I mean, you, you seem to fit right in. <laughs> You have taken on a leadership role among the residents here, I think, admirably. Thank you. Um, I, you know, I just, I don't know anybody that's not rooting for you. Thank you. That's and cool. uh, and I, I think you've done amazing. And um, so, you know, stay here. It's, it's awkward with people. It's awkward. You know, is there, has there been anything in your stay that surprised you? About like when you when you were like thinking about coming to the mission versus when you came to the mission, you go. That yeah, was a little surprising. I wasn't expecting that to to get so close to people and to make friends that I truly believe I can have like lifelong. Because I from experiences in the past, I've never really had real genuine friends they usually want something or you know True. it's not you know how when they say when something happens you know who your real friends are mm -hmm. I never had real friends oh okay was, I was always there for them but then when I needed them to be there for me they weren't and I found here and it was so I never knew that people could like me like that like it was people that genuinely they care about me, yeah. you know? So I was just like, wow. And that's one of the things that I love. Yeah. That I, w I actually found some really beautiful, great people that I, I want to always have in my life. Good. Like, I don't want to, just because I live here, I don't, you know, yeah. plan on. You spent yeah. a bit of time together now. And, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, you guys shared a lot of tears together, watched a lot of ups and downs together. Right. You've had a baby together right. with all these <laughs> folks, you know, and stuff. That's pretty right. awesome, huh? That's, yeah. uh, that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, something's recently happened in your, in, your, uh, in your life. Tell me a little bit about what's recently happened that's causing this departure. Um. I'm I'm gonna be moving out. Yeah. yeah. To I mean you got a, you get a, your own place. Yes. You got, okay. Yeah. A yeah. one bedroom <laughs> apartment. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's, it's pretty so awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, I mean that's that's exactly what we would want for you. You know, to be able to have your own place and mm -hmm. and and everything. Um, well, congratulations. I Thank mean, you. We're gonna miss you. And uh, and uh, you know I hope you know your our doors are always open to you, and you're always welcome to come back. And you don't have to come back as a resident. You can come back as just a friend. Right. Awesome. Okay? That's good. Well, um, when you think about, like, what's the future, do you think, looks like for, for you? What, do you? what do you got plans for? Well, we've talked about this before. I still want to do, I, I want to do the peer support thing. Cool. So um, my case manager with options, mm -hmm. She already spoke to, there's another lady at Options that helps you with school. So mm -hmm. I was already going to RCC before I got evicted. Well, when we ended up on the mountain, I used to go to RCC. Well, I'm going to be going back. So I get okay. to go back to school. Okay. And then um, I want to do some peer support. I think it's a great idea. I think you'd yeah. be great at that. Thank you. So, so um, for those that don't, maybe don't know what peer support is, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's pretty much um, be helping with resources and things like that. It, it's there's more to it than that. Like I got really close to my peer support. Um, she was awesome. She would, um, we would do groups. We would. She would. She would counsel me. It's not the thing to counsel, but she did help me out because I could 
share everything with her. Sure. It wasn't just um, taking me out into the community and letting me know what, what help I could get out there. It was her sharing experiences with that she's gone through because there is the addiction aspect. And sure. I am, I guess, um, I've been clean for... How many years has it been now? Well, since 2013, I don't even count anymore. I just haven't. I was addicted to heroin. Okay. Wow. And I, that was my thing. And um, I've been clean since 2013. That's fantastic. How did you get clean when you, when you, when you stopped that? I mean, was it just kind of a cold turkey thing? Yes, it was. It was, um, there was a lot of things going on. I was, Avoiding my family because I didn't want them to see me that way. Sure. It was shame. It was embarrassment. Um, they didn't deserve that. So I was avoiding my family a lot. Okay. And, um, well, my mom, I, it wasn't just my mom talking to me, but that was like she just cried and she said that they needed me and that I needed to stop. Yeah. It was pretty much that. I had already gotten pretty... I was disgusted with myself already. I was disgusted at the fact that I had no control over my life anymore. It was not. It was all me getting my next fix. How how long were you? How long did you use? For about a year, year and a half. Okay. Okay. And yeah, it was hard. So. Yeah. And it was a cold turkey thing. It was like that moment. She was just like she talked to me, and and if and I. I think if if nobody had told me we need you to stop and, and show that concern and that they, they cared and, and yeah care for you. I probably would have kept even sure. though I was disgusted and I was tired of oh I have to every morning get up and I got to do this and I got to do that and I'm yeah. I really feel that that was what I needed yeah. I needed someone to say stop you're loved and this is no good and Boy, that's good. And from that moment, because I, I I have to admit I'm pretty strong willed. Yeah. So if if I make you a live, decision, you live for a year in a tent on top of a hill. You right. know, I mean that's <laughs> that, that, that takes a little bit of uh, strong will to be able to do that. Right. Yeah. And and you walked into a gospel rescue where well, you limped into a gospel right. rescue mission, <laughs> but uh, but you did it. That also takes a lot of strong will. Right. You know. Yeah. Well, oh, we're glad that. You know, we know you that way, and and that uh, and you, that we get to be a part of the, the celebration of your recovery and, and all of that stuff. Um, right. You know, it's that it can be done. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna you're hoping to be part of a, a peer support specialist, which would right. be somebody who comes alongside uh, other people struggling with addiction and and recovery and and. And not necessarily addiction and recovery, but primarily, it seems like that's what they they, they focus on. But you you come at it from, like a lot of peer support people, coming at it from a pos- position of I've been where you are, I've right. walked through these things, you know, and I and I know, huh? Right. I've yeah. Pretty much been through it all. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Imagine that you're you're talking to another girl who's who this is your first peer support moment. Here you go. So you're talking to another girl who's who's um who's maybe watching this video on, on her cell phone, you know, on on a hillside, you know, in a in a tent. And it's maybe not absolutely miserable but it's just like maybe a half step above absolute misery <laughs> you know mm-hmm. and uh and you know and she's thinking about you know well maybe i should consider the gospel rescue mission what would you tell her i would tell her that's the best thing for her yeah yeah it's good it is it's very it's very beneficial if you like i've said before if you stick it out yeah and you're gonna get a lot out of it yeah if you know i Unfortunately, not a lot of people last. Yeah. It, I've recently seen literally a day. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if you really want to change, if you want change in your life, if you want to make the effort, yeah. then it's, you're, you'll benefit from the program. And, you know, unfortunately, not everyone is ready for the change. I mean, they might 
say, oh, I want out of this, or I want, for at that moment, they're like, I'm over this, I want change, but once they get there, they're like, oh, no, I don't want this, and I don't want to do this chores, and I don't want this, and I want to smoke my cigarettes, and I want to get high, and so it doesn't work. Change, for change to happen, you actually got to do, you got to change, right? Right. Yeah. I it's mean, not it's, easy. Yeah, we got to do something different than what we were doing before. And it's not easy, but it's good. Right. Yeah, it's good. I mean, you definitely would say life's better today than it was, you know, in March of this year. Or, oh, definitely. Or, you know, or, <laughs> or any time earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, congratulations. Thank you know, you. I, I want you to know we love you um, and just really want to see good things for you. Um, you know, I know everybody that's had a, a hand in uh, the walk, walking with you along the way, you know, uh, from my wife or, or um, Monica. I mean, we've all just felt like a total honor to walk with you. Awesome. And uh, you. We've, we've loved it. And Connie over at the thrift store or whatever, you know, I mean, just we've all enjoyed getting to know you and, and count you into our family of friends, you know. Thank and you. and uh and we just want to, you know, celebrate with you and pray for you and, and you. Uh, ask for good things for you. Awesome. If, <laughs> if you're watching this, you know, if somebody's watching this right now and, and just going, you know, man, um, I want to be a part of what's going on. I, I would say start by this. When you pray, would you pray for Linda and Manny and, and ask for God's blessing on their lives? Um, and pray for the Gospel Rescue Mission, for those people who come here who are looking for something, but they're not sure what. They're not sure if they have the, the wherewithal to do that thing of, of leaving their past behind them. Um, pray for us. and Pray for us that, uh, that we would do well by them and that they would be really ready to come in here and pray for this young man. <laughs> and he'll grow into a, a fine man that serves the Lord and, and uh, honors his mama. Mm -hmm. and uh and all of those things and again thank you for uh watching us another time here at the gospel rescue mission mm -hmm.